Hey, greetings, San Marcos Community Church. Here we are getting ready for Sunday, May 17th. It's been a long time coming, and we're going to try to get back together and have church in person here. And I want to go over a few uh, changes, some kind of guidelines on what you can expect. We'll have uh, some pictures. Uh, we've reset things here, and I just want you to kind of be prepared for uh, the new normal that we're going to uh, go for it here on May 17th. The first thing is when you arrive on the parking lot is that the doors will open at 930. The service will start at 10. The service will be one hour in length if the preacher can keep it that short. Y'all be praying for him on that. If you're not feeling comfortable getting in person with folks yet, that's fine because we will have the sermon from that morning edited and posted online on our website by 2 p.m. that day. So it's, it's not quite live, but it'll be a couple hours delayed, but it'll be on uh, that Sunday by two and every Sunday until things change. Also, you might say that you wanna see friends and you wanna talk, uh, but you're not too comfortable coming in the building. That's okay too, because we're gonna have a low range FM transmitter available. So when you come on the parking lot, We'll give you the, the call letters, you dial in, and you'll be able to hear the worship, the preaching, and everything live. So you can stay in your vehicle and still kind of see people or bring a lawn chair and sit in front of your vehicle and wave at your friends. Uh, so that's an option. But thirdly, the one I'm mostly talking about is if you do come on in and we want you to come in, we've rearranged the seating for safety's sake so that uh, from front... Uh, to back in the sanctuary, we remove some chairs and so that you're six feet away from the person in front of you during the singing time and the time that you're in the building. We're also going to ask, and this is where our ushers are going to come into play, our ushers are going to seat us. And so that's a new thing for you guys. And the reason for that is, is that we want to keep six feet of distance between family units left and right. So we've taken care of the front and back, but the left to right we want to keep you safe that way too. So our ushers will, you'll come in, our ushers will, will seat us in family units. So if you have a group, a family of five or six, you know, you guys all get to sit together, but there'll be six feet of space between you and the next family, left to right. There's going to be overflow seating as well in the foyer. So you might say, well, look, I've got all my kids with me. They're probably going to be kind of fidgety. Well, you might want to be in our overflow seating. We'll have monitors out there. Uh, so when you, you come on, you could when you come in the building, you could tell the, the greeters, yeah, I want to be in the sanctuary, or I want to be in overflow seating, and they'll seat you at that point. Children, uh, we want you to stay with your parents. We want to stay in family units. Now, Courtney, our children's pastor, has activity packets for the kids, so uh, you'll stop by the children's check-in area, and Courtney will be there, hand you a packet. This will be a coloring uh, little deal little activity sheet for your child during the sermon part. Do not turn that back into us. Keep all that. It's, it's kind of a one-way deal. Keep all that material for, for home. You just take that home with you. What we're trying to do is have a no-touch service, uh, which in and of itself is kind of anti-Christian, but we're doing what we can. So we won't have bulletins, so there will be no cross-contamination there. Uh, we will not do communion. We will not do any kind of hospitality. No food or drinks here. Uh, the offering, we will not pass the bags. We will have offering buckets. Wonderful galvanized buckets. They're beautiful. Bought them just for this. They'll be up at the platform, and we probably will have one at the information table for your way out. The greeters, uh, don't be shocked, but your greeters will be wearing masks. You do not have to wear a mask to come to church with us, but if you want to, go ahead and do that. You will not feel out of place or out of line if you wear one or if you don't wear one. Then when it comes to the time for dismissal, we want to dismiss from back of the sanctuary out. So we'll dismiss the overflow seating. Then we'll dismiss row by row. The ushers will help us again, dismiss us row by row from the back of the sanctuary forward. If you want to congregate and talk to friends, we want you to do it out in the open air, out in the parking lot, out on the porch, and not do it in the foyer. So that's why we're dismissing in that manner. And then for prayer ministry, the prayer ministry will happen in the youth room. 
and that's right across the foyer from the sanctuary so you walk right across there and we have uh, tables there and so the person uh, getting prayer will be on one side of a table and they're four foot tables and the, the prayer team will be on the other side so if you back off the table about six inches each way we are a foot each way we'll have our six feet real easy there and we, we, we will be able to, to pray for folks and we'll have two or three prayer teams in there. It'll be spaced out. So I just want to say it's going to be a great Sunday, May 17th. Now we're going to just do it and see how it goes and we'll adjust as we need to. The only thing that might happen is we might be overwhelmed with people. So we might fill to capacity. And if we do, we'll just have to ask you to uh, tune in on the FM thing in your vehicle and then we will come back and just do two services start you know but we have to just see where we are with that so come this Sunday for one service doors open at 9 30 service starts at 10 it's over by 11 11 something like that let's see how it goes let's have fun God bless you